हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ टू प्रिंट एचटीएमएल टू पीडीएफ इनसाइड एंगुलर थर्टीन एप्लीकेशन सो बेसिकली यू विल सी देर इज अ प्रिंट बटन आउट देयर सो इफ यू वांट टू प्रिंट आउट दिस हेडिंग इनसाइड अ पीडीएफ डॉक्यूमेंट यू कैन क्लिक द प्रिंट बटन एंड दिस विल कन्वर्ट टू अ पी डॉक्यूमेंट एंड नाउ यू विल सी दिस इज वन शीट ऑफ पेपर एंड वी कैन ऑल्सो हैव कस्टम सी एस एस अप्लाइड हेयर यू विल सी दिस हेडिंग इज देयर इन साइड रेड कलर आई कैन ऑल्सो जूम दिस हेडिंग हेयर यू विल सी this is there in red color i can also change this color going to the application file here which is uh, i can change this color to any color of the choice let's suppose green so if i refresh the application you will see let me close this window and once again click on the print button and now you will see it will appear inside green color so in this way you can convert html to pdf and then print out with custom css and we are using a special module in uh, node js which is ngx dash print which lets you do this process in angular so i have written a complete blog post in the video description i have given the link here so if you want to read more about it and get all the source code of the video you can go to the video description link so this is my step by step blog post and now get let's get started guys in order to do this so simply i will delete all this source code here and start from scratch so let me delete all the code here and start from scratch so inside let me just see here let me also delete this so now the very first thing guys you need to do is that just create your brand new angular project so just write the command here which is uh, ng new followed by your project name and then you need to install this dependency which is ngx dash print so i have already installed this uh, library then after that just start your angular angular project which is ng ng surf so for this we are using this library guys so if you want to find out this library just go to npmjs.com and now you need to search for this module which is ngx dash print this is a module that we are using here simply click this module and you will find out this is the documentation which is given it has got 17000 weekly downloads so this is a simple command to install this after installation you need to go to your brand new angular project which will be empty for now you will see now if i just uh, open localhost 4200 it will be empty so the very first thing you need to do is that you need to go to app.module.ts file and here we need to add the line here simple line we need to import the module which is ngx print and from this we need to import this module which is ngx print module and now inside your import array you need to import this so ngx print module that's it so just add this line here guys simply close this file we don't need this and now simply go to your app.component.html file here simply you need to a simple button or first of all we will define our uh, div here which we will give it a id of section so and inside this section we will have a simple heading that uh, this is a heading so now guys in order to print this we will have a simple button here which will be print html to pdf that's it and now inside this button we can give it a some attributes guys in order to uh, give a attribute you can read the documentation you will see now we can give a attribute called as print section id so basically what it will do is that inside this print section id you will give the id which uh, you have given to this section so we will simply give the same id that we have given to the div so basically we are telling that you need to print out this this portion only and the next attribute that you can give is uh, ngx print so this is the attribute which is required to print out this module in a particular window so now if you refresh the application you will find out uh, let me just see it is compiled successfully so let me just save this so if i open localhost nothing is there let me just see let me restart the application guys sometimes it can happen so 
so now you can see it has successfully compiled and let me open this inside localhost let me see why it is not opening any sort of error okay <coughs> oh sorry let me i made a mistake here that is why it is showing ngx print let me control shift and yes let me again refresh and now you can see it is appearing so it was ngx print module so we have uh, just made a mistake in printing out uh, spelling this out so you also need to import http client module from this and add this to your uh, client import side so just make this modification and now you will see your heading guys and print html to pdf if i hit this button you will see inside a window this heading will be printed out now you can hit the print button to actually carry out the print process so if i just uh, zoom out you will see this is a heading you can also provide your own title of the print document this is pretty simple there is a optional property which is a print title property so inside this you can pass this option which is print title so we can say a custom print title so basically if you do this you will see now if i again refresh the application if i click it you will see now if i zoom in you will see there is a option right here which is a custom print title so simply we have given a title to the print window and this you can do this by this module and now coming to the styling part guys so you can also create a separate folder for this go to the assets folder and create a separate folder css and inside this you can create a file which is style.css so basically all the styles which are related to this uh, section will, will be there so we can give it a id to this heading which is heading and we can just say we are targeting the heading class here and simply we can change the color to green that's it <coughs> and now we you you can see guys nothing will be there nothing will be changed because we haven't applied to this heading we are applying to the heading which will be printed out so let me refresh it you will see nothing is there yet because we need to add the property which will be the address of that file so this will be very simple guys there is a attribute called as let me just make it on the new line style sheet style sheet file and here you will give the address which is there so it is there inside the assets folder and then css and then style.css that's it now if you uh, uh, give this address you will find out that if you click print html to pdf now you will see all the styles which are mentioned in the inside the file will be applied you will see the color has changed here to green color because we mentioned inside this we can also change the font size you can apply any sort of uh, uh, css property just put a semicolon here and now you will see the font size will also get changed here you will see the font size has changed you can make it as even bigger which is 100 pixel so you can see that so you can play with these properties you can also have inline styling as well let's suppose you are giving a inline style to it by the help of uh, you are giving a ng so you can go to my video description link this is my blog post so we here i have provided all the code example that you want to do so if you want to uh, make inline styling this is very easy simply give the inline styling here like this inside this button simply we are telling it print style and h1 color will be changed to red uh, border will be solid 1 pixel so basically if you refresh it you will see it is failed to compile mm, it is saying that oh sorry we have made a mistake here we need to remove this and now you will see this styling will be applied to it because uh, we have changed the color 
of uh, red here you can change this color to any color of your choice let's suppose blue so in this way guys you can uh, convert the html simple html to a pdf document and print it also using uh, this ngx dash print module i have shown you all the examples that i could so you can just download all the source code by giving uh, going to the video description link and uh, please like the video guys if you like it please subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video